falling out. I had to, I had to fuse the roller so it doesn't roll anymore. I, I still use it, but it, it, instead of the roller rolling down the outside of the pot, it has to slide down the outside of the pot. Uh, uh, this one. Yeah, I'm going to go back to that one because it's, <laughs> it's, it's got a smaller cut. <laughs> Even though the, the roller is fused, it, it cuts a, a thinner slice off, and I, I made this rather thin. But anyway, you just. I mean, this, this doesn't make the pot any better for use, but it makes it a little bit more interesting to uh, to see on the kitchen table uh, if you're working in it. And, and that, another thing I... Do you have a favorite pot to throw? Pardon? Do you have a favorite pot to throw? No. Uh, <laughs> I, I have pots I don't like to make. I, <coughs> I don't like to make drinking mugs. Uh, and, and the reason for that is that um, people want drinking mugs to be made in sets. If they buy them, they want to buy a set of six or something like that. And they want them all to be alike. And I got involved in making a drinking vessel that the Japanese made, and it's their everyday teacup, and they call it a yunomi, Y-U-N-O-M-I, and that's the same thing as a mug, except that it has no handle on it. And the funny thing is, uh, we started making yunomis when we start, first started our pottery, and people at first didn't know what to make of them, uh, and we finally said, well, you, you know, they're or a drinking cup. You can drink anything out. You can, if you put something hot in, you have to be careful. You don't <laughs> fill it too full or burn your hands. And uh, the funny thing is, people will buy a group of Unomis, and uh, uh, they want to have each one of them different. And, uh, and uh, so I, I'm much more attracted to making Unomis than I am to making mugs. <laughs> but. Uh, and that's probably because also the mugs go back to uh, uh, the leech pottery, <laughs> where we had to make mugs that were all exactly alike, you know. <coughs> and uh, it just, it, it's, it's, I think making pots ought to be fun. Mm -hmm. And uh, if, if it isn't fun, why, why, are, why in the world are we doing it? Uh, and, uh, so, <coughs> now, years ago, I made a little tool. This is a, an old caster off the bottom of a bed, a roller. And I, I <coughs> found one of these in my junk uh, box, and uh, I took it and uh, I ground a lot of grooves in it, and uh, originally, I, I want to show you the way I used this originally, I, I like this one because uh, you can have a roller pattern like this with all sorts of carvings on it, and whatever you roll on, it, it'll be transferred to the clay. But I like this because by using it in different ways, I can get different things. I can get very delicate little triangles on it. 
I can, I can press it a little harder and get deeper triangles and, and taller triangles. But what I've gotten to do recently, and I'm, I'm going to ruin this spot because I just want to show you the different things that you do with this, I, I've gotten to rolling this and over rolling it. So I, I'm, I'm not, I'm not just making one or two revolutions. I'm over rolling it to put a, a very strong texture on, and then. I can use a glaze that either shows the difference where it's thick and thin, or I can uh, rub pigment into that texture and wipe it off the surface and put a plain glaze on it, and it will show up uh, more strongly. And you'll probably find a few of these in there, I don't know. Anyway, this is, like I said, I just ruined this part. So <laughs> oh, no. <laughs>